Let's talk about Ghana. What has Ghana done that is shocking everyone? Ghana is a small country in West Africa. And what has it done? It has opened up its first gold refinery plant called the, the Royal Ghana Gold Refinery. Who owns this? Where does it get its raw materials from? Is it really valuable to do that? Is it does it make an economic sense to do that? Right? So all these questions are going to be asked and answered in this in this video. So if you have those questions, please stick around, watch and learn, and leave your comment in the comment section below. Well, what is the target of the refinery plant? The, the refinery plant is meant to produce 400 kilograms of gold every day. That is 146,000 kilograms of gold every year. Quite interestingly, it sources its output from the small scale miners and their artisanal, which contributes to a third of Ghana's output, which is close to 4 million ounces every year. Also, the refinery is meant to produce market for the local miners and the artisanal because these people find it very hard to sell their products out and in most cases they do smuggle out gold which is against the law of the country because Ghana wants to produce its gold and take it to the market Unlike the previous years, where it has been selling its raw materials to the international market at a cheaper price, this time around, they have decided to put up a plant that can process their bullion. And this bullion is gold in its purest form, which is meant uh, somehow to, be, to back up the currency of Ghana and to increase trust in the investors. You see, if a country's currency is backed up by gold, it is very confident for the investors to come and invest in the country because they know their assets are well, uh, well taken care of. You know, they have something that can be, they can lean on to in case of their business collapse. Hey, now, the question here comes, who owns Royal Ghana Gold Refinery Plant? Is it the government of Ghana or is it Rosie Royal Company? Well, 80% of the company is owned by Rosie Royal Minerals Limited, which is an Indian company. So, 20% is therefore given to Ghana. For its natural resources. Funny enough, if we are to practically say it, if Ghana produces over uh, four trillion dollars from its from its gold, that means three point two trillion dollars are supposed to be given to Rosy Royal Minerals Company, and then twenty percent, which is around eight hundred billion, is supposed to be given to the government of Ghana. Which is funny. I find it very funny because it does not make any economic sense to give 80% of your gold to a foreign uh, investor and then you have only 20% of whatever you produced. Yes, I don't think it is really valuable or it makes any economic sense that Ghana takes only 20% of its refined gold and then 80% is channeled out to a foreign country, which is it's supposed to be reinvested in the country. If it was 50-50, I would understand because Ghana does not have the capacity to build its own refinery that does not have investors. But it is funny that 80% of the refinery plant is owned by Rosy Royal Minerals Limited which is an Indian company in this case. So, I leave this question to you. Is it really fair for Ghana to give 80% of its gold 
or is it really a uh, value addition uh, to the gold because to me it is just the same as taking out the raw output to the international market and getting that low pay if your 80 percent of the refined gold is taken to a foreign company i mean a foreign investor which later on reinvests to another country funny so guys i leave this question to you and i want to say thank you so much for watching leave your comment below thank you so much